Hey everybody, this is Geneva of Geneva's Closet Talk Show. Please make sure you like and share this video and subscribe to Geneva's Closet right here on YouTube if you haven't already done so. And feel free to follow me on Facebook at what? At Geneva's Closet. And you can also email me people at Geneva's Closet 22 at gmail.com. Now let's get into the news. Now, I made a video on this case a few days ago, but here's the backstory, and it's coming from Chicago Sun-Times. A woman suspected of shoplifting at a Walgreens on the north side of Chicago was fatally shot after a manager confronted her and called for a friend who used to work security. The man showed up with a gun at 11.30 p.m. and started tussling with the 46-year-old woman. After she fell to the ground, he shot her in the face. He picked up the single-shell casing and drove off from the store located at 4817 West Fullerton Avenue. The woman had been carrying a t-shirt and five boxes of leggings. Paramedics performed CPR while taking her to Mount Sinai Hospital where she was pronounced dead. Her identity at the time had not been released. Detectives have identified the gunman but he remained large at large at the time. He was wearing a red hooded sweatshirt and dark jeans and had driven off in a dark color SUV. Store employees told police the shooting stemmed from a possible shoplifting incident. The store's manager confronted the woman for shoplifting and tried to stop her at the door. The manager called his friend, who showed up minutes later and confronted the woman. While the former guard and woman were fighting, the man pulled out a gun and fired a single shot, which entered through her forehead. Unconfirmed radio reports initially indicated that the shooter may have been identified as a police officer, but a police said the shooting did not involve any law enforcement officer or agent. A police source said the suspected gunman, a 33 year old man, has been arrested before on charges of impersonating a government official. The alleged gunman lives two blocks from the store and once worked for Monterey security. County records show the 46 year old woman has an arrest history, including shoplifting. An autopsy release confirmed the woman died of a gunshot wound to her face. At the time that I talked about this, we didn't know anything about the manager. Who was the manager that even called the friend in the first place? Because I didn't understand that. And then didn't know who the friend was that came over with the gun acting like he was a police officer and shot her in the head. But now we have that information and this is coming from ABC 7 Chicago. And it says, a 33 year old man charged with murdering a woman inside a Walgreens store on the Northwest side was ordered, held without bond Friday, which is today. Police he said Lewis Hicks was pretending to be a police officer. Just before closing time last Wednesday, police said a manager at the store on Fullerton and Cicero confronted 46-year-old Cersei Vernado, suspecting she was trying to shoplift. The manager then called Hicks, who lived nearby, for help. During a confrontation, police said Hicks verbally fought with Vernado threw her to the ground, shot her in the head, and claimed he was a cop. The suspect then ran off. The manager is no longer with Walgreens, the company said in a statement. Vernado's family said he didn't have to shoot her. I don't know why they would stereotype her, but I do know he murdered my aunt in cold blood, said Foster, the victim's niece, last week. According to published reports, Hicks, who is a former security guard, has impersonated a government official before and been arrested on that same charge. Friday morning, he's back in jail, charged with first-degree murder, false impersonation of an officer, and aggravated unlawful use of a weapon. Hicks was not a Walgreens employee, but the company says it's cooperating with the investigation. We extend our deepest and most sincere condolences to the victim's family. We are committed to providing a safe environment for our employees, patients, and customers in the communities we serve and continue to cooperate with police. The suspect was not our employee. The store employee is no longer with the company, the company said in a statement. 
So basically what I'm getting from all the articles that I have read about this case is that Cersei o was basically killed for no reason. If the manager would have handled the situation properly, if he felt like Cersei o was shoplifting and would have called the police, then the police could have came in and handled the situation and they could have dealt with it. But instead, he called his friend who he knew had a tendency or liked to play as a police officer. So that's really what I'm kind of stuck on. What was that conversation about? So when the manager called the friend, did he call his friend and say, I want you to come over here and act like you're arresting her, or I want you to come over here and scare her or bring the gun with you. So then it can really make you look like you a police officer. Like what was that whole conversation about? Because I feel he called the friend purposely knowing that the friend was going to come over there and act like a security guard. I mean, act like a police. So why would he do that? Like wh what type of manager would do something like that? What do you all think about the situation? Do you feel that the manager being fired is good enough? Or do you think there should be charges brought up on the manager too? Because if you all remember, or if you listen to the video that I did before about this case, that video was about um, Walgreens potentially having some legal issues because of what the manager did. Because the manager did not handle the situation the way he should have and just called the police, he got this woman killed. So tell me what you think about it, people. Let me know how you feel. Please make sure you like and share this video and subscribe to Geneva's Closet right here on YouTube if you haven't already done so. And you can also follow me on Facebook at what? At Geneva's Closet. And feel free at any time to email me at Geneva's Closet 22 at gmail.com. Again, leave your comments and tell me what you think because this is really a sad situation. But you all have a fabulous day, and I'll talk to you later, people. Bye.